Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first match on stream for Center Valorant um, here in the NECC activation. Um, we'll have two matches here for you tonight. This first one, Center Valorant is taking on Concordia University St. Paul, specifically their pink team. With me today uh, is Blake Shrewsbury. Yes, Blake Shrewsbury, uh, otherwise known as Big Soup. Uh, I play... Uh, for center esports on the overwatch white team uh, but i'm gonna be casting today uh all right looking at looking at picks right now and we've got a very initiator attack sided picks right here you can definitely tell that they're going for the aggressive uh plays just hypothetically of course um and then the kj just to secure that post plant I'm, I like it. I personally like it. Um, let's see. CSP's running the, the also double initiator. Double initiator is good. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that these really similar team comps is going to help us in the beginning uh, uh, with uh, center being attacking first. Uh, and I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but center is oh. in fact red team. Yes. Uh, the buttons are different in this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I unfull screened it. All right, so uh, this is just gonna be pistol round. Uh, doesn't really look like anyone's putting too much money other than utility, which safe place. Uh, I do see on CSP a couple of ghosts, uh, which could uh, could mean something. Uh, whenever we get into the actual fights. This round's always kind of a toss-up. It's kind of, if you hit really lucky shots with a classic, then, hey, that's a budget round, and you're making it out free. Uh, There's in here a, uh, a technical pause, um, as opposed to a tactical pause. Um, seems like we're having some keyboard issues over there at Concordia. Um, looking like in the chat, they are getting over those, so we'll, we'll get right into the action soon here, folks. This is a little, good, a little bit of a pregame strategy. It looks like everybody plans on going to A, splitting a couple into showers and a couple into short. KJ already setting up uh, some trips to make sure that they don't get any flankers from B. Uh, I personally don't think that you need trips for post plant, uh, and so I don't think that uh, I don't think that'll hinder him too much going forward. And we are we are gonna. Enter this round in 10 seconds. Reyna not taking any eyes, uh, but taking a ghost instead. I've just noticed. Let's see if that works. Sky looking for flash and showers. Reyna peeks. I'm like commentating somebody that I'm not even watching. The dog going forward. Getting on the site, getting on the site. Looking for an opening to plant. He doesn't see this guy. He might come out into the smokes. Might be Kim. Ooh, taking some fire. Raina's just waiting for that smoke to go down. Uh, KJ's gonna be on her own for a second. Ooh, can't get one. Raina's gonna get one. Just trying to blind fire where, where where Spike might be a ping, but just a, a little bit too late and not going to get anything for that one. Uh, did die, though, which, so uh, believe it or not, does help financially. A <clears throat> little bit of math that goes into uh, pistol round deaths and, you know, you just kind of have to know what guns are valuable and whether or not to die with them. Uh, this round, it looks like... Uh, CSP is going to go for their little, little little bit of a force buy, not going to stick with the pistols, while center is going to stick with the pistols. But um, I was going to say raise, but that, I believe that's CSP's raise. Looking at long, not really pushing anything yet. Sitting in market, rain is peeking into showers. Nobody's going to see anything. Defense, CSP is playing incredibly defensive. They don't want to give away anything. Um... 
Brimstone might get sidewinded here from showers. Ooh. Raina makes it out just in time. They unfortunately are down two. That went short. This guy debating on whether or not to use util here. It might just be at a loss. Ooh, and Ray's gets centers Reyna. Guy and Killjoy. Uh, sort of separated, but uh, KJ's coming up from behind. They're going to have to take on all five, and with pistols. That's a flash. That's They're just throwing so much util at center. Center can get one. There's a flash. It's like you're not going to be able to push off that simply because of the smoke. Brim going around to flank through showers, but might not even have to with how, uh, how just aggressive they're being with utility. This guy comes back. This guy does not expect the brimstone. Ooh, but gets really nice shots. That's a headshot on that brim. They're mollying just to cover their tracks. And gets the two. He's not going to win this round, but is going to get a couple picks that will help financially. Still a lot of, lot of specters on the other team. Uh, that That is a given round. Uh, center uh, statistically is not supposed to win that round, and this round is going to be their save. Where they're going to be able to buy bigger and better guns uh, and hopefully have a chance at taking down CSP. And it does look like we've got uh, some vandals. Some vandals going around on center side. Uh, a phantom or two. Which is exactly his plan. Yet another A push here. Yeah. Uh, confident. Confident that they can get the A push to work. Uh, maybe they think that last round it just didn't work simply because they were saving. Uh, and they get the instant pick. Uh, it looks like they might be correct. Reyna eyes out. Sky down. Just throwing out those those flashes, making sure that they they gain more space. Coming out of lamps, the, the only people that they have are in CT and just moved out of heaven to CT. So if they were to push CT, it would just, I mean, get kills. Ooh, and that's going to be a one for one. Nice trade there for center. Reyna back and way up to play for bomb. This guy's hurt and knows to do the same. And KJ doesn't even care. KJ's going to get the pick before they can even get to the bomb. And that is why we lost the past two rounds. Well, not why we lost the past two rounds, but why... It's okay that we won the last or that we lost the last two rounds. Uh, it is now uh, looking a little bit in center's favor, just money-wise, um, just with the uh, the couple of picks that they got on those save rounds. It's gonna make it to where their team has a little bit less money, but I would say it's about even. No team has too much of a particular lead. Um, nobody has ults yet, so no need to worry about um, things like that. <laughs> This guy dogging into hookah, seeing nothing. So they know that that's clear and they can push up through that. Ooh, but the KJ utility, they shoot it all, so it's all right. Uh, they're throwing mollies in, trying to just to stall that brim is alone in that push. Reyna having a KJ behind her, but uh, it's probably going to eye out of that smoke. There's the eye. Ooh, and both of them get picked by that killjoy. And Sky gets one too. That is quite unfortunate, but it is still not, it's not unwinnable. See if uh, see if Killjoy can't get a few picks for for money and just for stalling. Ooh, unfortunate, unfortunate. We only got one on that round, but uh, uh, ults are coming up. We 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 now have uh, Reyna and Brimstone ult. Uh, Brimstone ult could be really good if we could manage to get that bomb down. That's almost a, a guaranteed win. Uh, Reyna ult might just be the thing that helps us get on that. Uh, I, I think that uh, Center may have lost a little bit of faith in the uh, in the A push and is now uh, considering their options. Prepare for hellfire. I think CSP is also a little bit split up, doesn't quite exactly know what to do. Throwing down those smokes just in case. Over here. Ooh, that's really unfortunate. A, a kill through blast pack. That's you, you never want that to happen. Not ex exactly an expensive death um brimstone's gonna get get back to full health this isn't unwinnable as i said 
uh, that did cost our brimstone ult, unfortunately. Um, we still have that Reyna ult, but Reyna is not going to be in this round. Brim's missing that, that shield, and Sky's a little bit hurt, so we're going to be automatically uh, limping into this next fight. Looks like a full rotation through Long with Gecko watching their six. Nobody is really contesting on B. Scott or KJ is on B uh, for CSP, but I don't think that uh, KJ is going to be putting up much of a fight here. Just not exactly knowing how many numbers they're up against. Ooh, and that's a, a headshot from from uh, CSP's KJ. Really unfortunate whenever just your entire round goes out the window due to a single tap from a Vandal. And there's a double for the brim. With a sheriff, it's not looking, it's not looking very good. Maybe a few picks, not quite. Uh, they did burn the uh, CSP's uh, KJ ult though, so they're not going to have that for any sort of host plant. Still going to be holding on to uh, our Reyna ult, and uh, I, I believe that we should be pretty close to a uh, few of the other ones. Uh, and CSP is going to call a timeout, which is interesting. They are winning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, very interesting. Uh, I mean, hey, uh, maybe somebody had to run to the bathroom. Nobody knows. Uh, maybe they had some... It, it, too much momentum. Yeah, you know, they, they needed to stop we need, that. We need to be in that sweet spot. We don't want to <laughs> just walk away with this game. Oh, no, it looks like we're smurfing. we gotta, <laughs> <laughs> we got to lose this. Um but no, I'm, I'm sure that uh, Center is also using this timeout to really talk some strategy, see if they can't get um, see if they can't get some of their groove back. Um, have won one round, um, and it will go to it will go to round twelve before we switch to the second half. We are currently on round six. Um, looks like Center is having a little bit of a budget round just in this little inactive timeout. Um, I suppose it's an active timeout, but we are inactive. Uh, not everybody can full buy exactly, and so it's it's going to be that little bit of a difference. Uh, Gecko, Gecko going for a little bit of a force buy here, just trying to make sure that they aren't running in with Classic. Um, Gecko is really close to ult, so it's, there's a chance that he's banking on maybe getting an early pick here and then... Busting out Thrash, maybe getting a couple more, or at least some some uh, stuns for his team. Uh, he is going solo. Uh, CSP KJ. Ooh, they're going to get the KJ, and there's going to be a big trade that doesn't really end in center's favor. Going to mosh pit to cover CT, and then it looks like maybe looking for the rotate. Yeah. Uh, center is going to try and get out of here. They're going to run into that fade and mark it. Will, will Brimstone expect it? And she peeks. Ooh, not quite fast enough. But uh, we do get Thrash off that. We get a Vandal. Center. Uh, th this isn't unwinnable for Center, as I've said before. Uh, just two picks. With Gecko ult, is definitely doable. Wingman for Plant. Really just Whisper having to gauge whether or not they should save, whether or not they should rotate. Uh, CSP has switched uh, to having one person on each site. Going to make some noise in the teleporter. Skillfully trying to bait them, and they're already separated. So this is even maybe a bit easier than just two picks. You know, this is one pick on the raise, and then one pick maybe a minute later. Oh, but, but he doesn't know it. risky plant. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Everybody. Oh, oh. <laughs> Expected 50, the rotate on, on okay. which way to be looking there. Yeah, uh, just just didn't go his way. Ooh, that that was uh, I I I was I was clenching my fist there. I, I was really <laughs> nervous for a second. Um, uh, this is round six, so we are halfway through the first half. Um, it's five to one. Not looking great for center, but uh, as we've established, uh, like. We're not playing badly. We're, we're having some good rounds. We we're winning the rounds we're supposed to. And, of course, we're just being a few picks short of these uh, of these wins. There's only been a couple of rounds that have been entirely one-sided. Uh, Brimstone not exactly able to pull by. 
Echo not able to get those full shields. Uh, just that little bit of money that we're missing that could lead to a victory. We do have two ults, but they also have two ults. Uh, Fade and Brimstone ult could be a little bit devastating for whenever we try and plant. I'm not quite sure how that molly uh, hit. Ooh, it looks like uh, they're a little bit sandwiched, but by a classic, and so there's not much they can do about it. Spike down B. CSP just getting pick after pick and not really being able to uh, let Setter breathe at all. With the Sheriff, once again, 1v4, it is not looking great. See if maybe we can't get some picks. Uh, maybe, maybe pick up a, a, a rifle. Unfortunately not. Uh, we are going to go on to round 8. Round 8? Yeah, round 8. Looking at the scoreboard, it does look... It looks a little bit lopsided. Uh, we On center, we've got uh, a really level sort of player base. We've got just really similar KDs. Uh, but then on CSB, we maybe have got just somebody just popping off. KJ is just having a really good game. You go forward with the dog. Dog doesn't quite see anybody. He's going to miss that fade. And it's going to be the death of Brim, unfortunate. Ooh, Boombot's going to hurt Gecko a little bit on his way out. Gecko's going to look for that market, but it's just a little bit misplaced. Ooh, and the two picks out of Teleporter, that's absolutely beautiful for Brogy. Really the equalizer center needs in this in this round. Absolutely, um, and that's... Yeah, and a low health bar on the fade, too. This is, in some ways, center's favor. Absolutely in center's favor, especially with the triple ults versus the no ults that are possible here. If we can get that bomb down, that's almost a secured win. I do see center going on over to B site here. Um, a totally not defended point, save for a uh, now deactivated KJ turret. Uh, we will see that rotate come through as... Um, Ooh, maybe a third... Expecting it. A third just blind <laughs> shot here on the <laughs> fade. Don't know about pierogi on the KJ. Ooh, absolutely oh, disgusting. Goes. And that's going to turn it into a 2v2. And gets the pick. He just has to wait for, for the rotate from KJ. All right, KJ's here and is able to watch his back. Doesn't quite see anybody. Just going to throw mollies in, in popul popular cubbies and stuff like that. Saw the gun peek out. Ooh, both of them oh. peek, and he gets one. Unfortunate is now a 1v1. KJ does have ult here, but doesn't quite want to use it. Going to drop down, and oh, unfortunate so dropping close. down is going to cause that recoil just so where he misses those first few shots. That was, once again, as I said, these these rounds are all incredibly close. And this is in no way, while the score would imply a one-sided game, all of these rounds have been highly close, especially with center having to save nine times out of ten. We'll see the timeout here coming from Center College this time. Do you know how many, uh, how many timeouts are per team? One per half. Makes sense, makes sense. I think that... Uh, Center's really just trying to get into their groove. And as we saw last round, kind of did get in their groove. They realized that CSP was playing really aggressive and they've been hyper aggressive on the on the flanks. Uh, maybe just expected them to go for a really outward and loud play. Sat and wait for that teleporter and got two. And so, then yeah, got the really, extra fade. Really, really great to have someone kind of staying behind and lurking. Um, they've mostly been doing these um, more straightforward plays, just having five folks run it down a couple times playing a, a bit more of a of a neutral push but um default push rather but i think that was that was the real game changer there that was three of the picks coming from just pierogi going into this next round we are going to have two ults um been holding on to that thrash i don't think that we've i don't think that we've popped it yet gecko is just waiting for the perfect time to get that thrash and I, I respect it. Thrash can be an absolute game changer. Um, thra thrash can it can just disable an entire team if you play it correctly. Um, unfortunately, everybody is just on a budget here. Brim only able to afford smokes, and Gecko only be able to afford Stinger. 
There's that thrash coming out. He checks hookah. Nothing in hookah. He's going to look for somebody on site. Cubby clear. He doesn't check backside and goes for CT. Gets nothing with it. That is really unfortunate. That's a massive ult that Gecko's just not going to be able to get back. He can try, certainly, but uh, it looks like the team is going for a rotate, and Gecko's going to have to go through about three people in order to even have a chance of getting thrash back here. Brimstone really just being conservative about those smokes being just trying to make sure that they're not throwing away cash because money is center's massive problem right now. I think that if uh, we had a round to where it was full buys, center might have a, a, a really good chance. Looking for that flash. Knows somebody's in lamps. Here's the dog. Dog goes teleporter. He knows somebody's sitting right outside of lamps right there. Ooh, and shower just gets dropped. See if Reyna can't make it a trade. Oh, but doesn't quite see him. Oh, the eye comes out. The showstopper can't hit him. That's very unfortunate. I will say one no one, one thing that I'm noting uh, is... Ooh, that hard flash. That's really... The rifles. The rifles and also the, the oppressive uh, utility. That's something that I, I remarked on, I think, a pistol round. But they just have been up in their face with this util. Um, something I'm noting is that CSP, as soon as they get an ult, they don't hold on to it. They know that that is a free ability that they just get from playing the game. And it's a free ability, might as well use it. Um, and I feel like it's a big difference between uh, center and CSP right now is center's holding on to those ults, making sure that they get value out of it, and um, it's not exactly working out. Boombot just destroyed. That's a lot of raises utility already gone. That's lamps cleared. Oh, and just a whiff. And raise is going to get three for CSP. That is not good news. And that is also bombed down on site. We have one showers and one sitting almost in our spawn. There's not much that the two can really hope to do unless they get some picks here. Looks like Gecko and Razor are about to encounter each other in short, but... Oh, nice. Pierogi's going to get that pick. And Gecko is not going to get his. He doesn't check close right, and he's going to get shot in the back. That is, that is very unfortunate. I think that he expected the turret to be able to see that, because he did place turret down right in front of showers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just uh, some really unfortunate, just expected turret to be able to see that. All right, looking for another, uh, maybe a little bit late out of market, this one, not 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 pushing up out of hookah. Reyna is going to just get demolished in a 2v1. That is really unfortunate that the, they went to go peek long and just were faced with two rifles. Uh, maybe throw some gecko util into hookah, try and make sure that they get something. That's another pick for CSP. CSP's Rays and KJ just absolutely getting crazy picks. Crazy picks that are really putting center at a disadvantage. Uh, CSP's raise is going to maybe look for a flank uh, and that center is going to have to look out for coming from market. That dog goes in, gets caught on the turret, very unfortunate. Or doesn't get caught on the turret, bites the turret, but doesn't quite kill it. Not exactly sure how much, uh, how much turret health is affected by dog. At this point, CSP is just burning util, trying to make sure that they do not get on site. KJ anchoring A, or sorry, not KJ, Ray's anchoring A. Ooh, just a couple, a couple gunfights that are not going center's way. Whisper getting wall banged is highly unfortunate. Whisper made sure that they were behind cover and uh, that they, even though they were at a, a, a distance disadvantage, that they still could be in a fight and it just didn't quite matter. 10 seconds left. Not knowing that the raise is in showers and the raise, ooh, is going to be a trade. Uh, not the most optimal of situations, but we do get that spike down before time runs out. That is going to be plant money for center. 
very cinematic camera shot for that, <laughs> that peek onto heaven. Uh, just burning that util. Didn't quite see uh, the sky, and so sky is going to get a pick and a rifle. Highly advantageous. I think if Sky plays this entirely correctly, they, they could get something, but Peek out of Lamps is not going to see it. Unfortunate. Uh, and they are going to get that Diffuse, it looks like. I, I, I usually go off, uh, off of audio pings and can't quite hear it as well at the moment, and so I, I just had to guess. I was like, mm, they probably don't get this. <laughs> um... Yeah, it is uh, final round, I believe. Uh, and so, center has to go all out. Going to spend as much money as possible. Uh, we do have three ults, uh, but CSP also has three ults. Man, that, that really threw me off there. Whenever I saw seven of nine, I've forgotten that the, the new Valorant has nine, uh, nine ult points required for, for certain ultimates. We're going to send a little bit more people along this time. Make sure Reyna doesn't get just instant peek by three people. Reyna is going to ult as you should. It is last round. Ooh, KJ's ult just a little bit delayed because of that, that molly there from the brim. Reyna eyes out. KJ's just getting a little bit antsy and stepping into the molly a little bit. That's really unfortunate. Reyna looking for somebody here. The showstopper just barely missing Whisper. Does hit him, but has to really hope that the sky doesn't... Oh, it's Whisper getting got. That's Brimstone down, but... Uh, Progi's getting Progi's getting picks, and Reyna's looking for just the, a pick in CT, and gets it right there. That it brings it to a two v one inside of a friendly KJ ult. This does look like it's in center's favor. Oh, but Bomb is not down. I've just noticed. Bomb is down back at Puka. Ray's looking to to long, waiting for that long rotate, not knowing that they've they've gone through Puka, or maybe just. Preparing for the for the push. Thankfully, they do have turret to watch uh, some of the spots that Ray's going to be coming from. Looks like a Ray's will opt to go through Huka. Kind of just holding a nice crossfire defensive position. Don't know where the Ray's is yet. Low health bar on Pierogi, but with two people alive, certainly doable. Crossfire here would be, they hear the drop, they know that he's down. And Reyna takes out that raise. That was an absolutely necessary win uh, yeah. for center. Three kills for Exora there. A great round. We are now going to move into the second half where uh, center will be on defense. Uh, center will have to win uh, many, many rounds with only, I believe, two games room for error. They are only allowed to lose two games here. Um, no, three. On the third one will be a loss. So yeah, they're, yep. they're only allowed to lose two. Gonna have to play this super just beyond uh, what I think anyone is expecting from any sort of team. To come back from 10 to 2 is going to be incredibly difficult. But hey, anything can happen. Of course, the, the map pick this evening was on the side of... Uh... CSP, at least in terms of who, what side they got to choose. Um, so it's possible this is a, you know, defense-oriented team. As I say that. Oh, we're trading picks, though. It's all right. Able to keep this in center's favor. <coughs> Looks like Reyna, Reyna's getting a little bit of that, that momentum. They're going to get bombed down, but a lot of them very hurt. Oh, and that's a pick for two. Oh, and that's that's game. That's absolute game right there. They have one pistol round for center. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Reyna, I think, at the end of the first half, just found their groove. Found their groove and are, are, are finally getting back into it. Uh, this could be the start of an incredible comeback. Uh, and let's hope so. Reyna going to go for a, a Marshall. Uh, my personal favorite. I love going Marshall on... on uh, Second round. Uh, this round, center should win as DSP is then left with not a lot of money due to the loss. I will say that is an absolutely astonishing 22 and 6 by CSP. Um, but I think that 
the team is more important. <laughs> um, really, this is a team-oriented game. You can have a top frag that's grand master, and if it doesn't quite come up to snuff whenever it comes to the game mode, it doesn't really matter. Gecko looking for something in short, but not quite finding it. Ooh, but getting two. Throwing out the util, gets a flash. Getting a little bit abused by turret, but doesn't really care. Walks right through it. Ooh, is touching that molly a little bit too much. Throws down the mosh. Knows that there's only one, and he can safely go for the pick. Not the pick, plant. Diffused, they've already planted. And there that is. And that's going to be a second round. That is a round that we were supposed to win. Just getting a little bit closer to those ults. Um, I'm sure that Thrash should be coming up um, in the next couple of rounds simply because of the, uh, I, I believe, the three that uh, Gecko got. <clears throat> you see full buys here on the side of CSP. And some folks getting their uh, factors rather than a rifle for a center college. Placing swarm grenade. Placing swarm grenade. Just trying to hope that uh, maybe they can get a little bit of extra cash. That cash was a really big problem whenever uh, they were on attack, and so they're just trying to be really financially responsible, knowing that they can save those specters. Not a utility short. And that's really unfortunate. Exora gets down before anything can really be done. Gets some good damage, though, uh, that is unfortunately being healed by the sky. It's going to be spiked down. Just taking out the util before it can even go down. Gecko is going to get pinged going into lamps. Launching smoke. He's looking for that fade, and he sees, and gets the pick. Looks like CSP Sky is just holding out heal, which uh, is not a great strategy. Everybody's very hurt on the side of CSP. Uh, one bullet or two, not Lime, looking at lamp. Lime could spray herself into a victory here. As we said, doesn't quite know where to look, and gets the lucky spray that's absolutely great. Um, and gets unfortunately a not oh, able yeah. to get that spike. Um, or get out. But, we think that goes, yeah, it's still pretty good. That, uh, that still greatly hurts CSP financially. Um, that was uh, a full buy round for them, and I say that as... Uh, they're still buying buying rifles and uh, and stuff like that, but that util that util is going to come a little bit short, which is something that been they've been very on top of. That utility has been um, kind of what's destroying us. Looks like a full push onto a short. We do have three on B, so that is quite unfortunate. Ooh, Reyna does get the dismiss. And is going to get healed up by this guy. That's absolutely great. Throws out the eye. Che checking behind, checking behind, learning from past mistakes. And there's a pick. And a heal off the pick. Oh, and one in showers. That's very unfortunate. But we're getting a lot of trades here. This is a 3v2, still looking in favor of center. Ooh! That was a really good pick and a really solid molly. I don't think the molly quite hit, though. Oh, but they walked back into it? Oh, no, they, they got shot. I, I, for a moment, I, for a moment, they walked back into the molly. That was, that was strange. Just some really good, some really good wins that, that center really needed. Uh, they are allowed to lose one more, and then second loss means game. But I talked about this this comeback being like really difficult, but center seems to seem to take it pretty easy. We we've gone from what ten to two to eleven to five, um, just yeah. stringing together these wins. And a few rounds of them being able to hold on to their pretty pricey guns. Uh, definitely goes a long way. And that buffer room of knowing that they could lose one if they needed to is uh, is certainly useful. It allowed them to play with a little bit more confidence. 
It's like a full push onto B, but split between Long and Uka. Just throwing out the, the that util, throwing out the dog. Oh, and Exor is gonna get a pick. And then there's just so much. Just they never expect the corners that we're sitting in, and Reyna just going crazy. Oh, absolutely disgusting flank there from Exora. And this has turned from... Oh, timeout from CSP. Uh, expected timeout. Um, as they've lost quite a few um, on this half. Um, as I said, th this game has gone from a almost impossible comeback to a very, very doable, very doable comeback. Absolutely. We will see a lot of alts come online here for um, CSP, um, allowing them to maybe find some more um, some more direct win conditions in some of these fights. And of course, because they only need two, they've got this buffer room to like lose a round, have a save round, come back strong versus... Nice that center's got the buffer of two. We'll have to uh, still play pretty perfect, though. They they won't be able to make a, a lot of the big mistakes that we were seeing, like the uh, come out of showers and not check the right side, stuff like that. They will have to play just super, super careful here. This is still before round because we did have that timeout. I juke myself out a little bit because I was like, nobody's on, <laughs> nobody's on any site. What's happening? Uh, I've seen all five and a short here. That's what I've. They've been doing the past couple of rounds. They've been just full sending into one site, um, and it hasn't turned out well for them. But I mean, ooh, and there goes the instant brimolt from CSP. Ooh, and the misplaced patience. But uh, Xor is going to get one for it at least. I'm gonna spray through that smoke, just hoping for something, but not quite finding anything. And Brimstone's gonna get some, and Sky's gonna get some. This is just massive. Oh, the Showstopper. Ooh, and gets one with the Showstopper. That's unfortunate, but I still believe that is a win for center. Yes. Uh, that is going to put us... I, I don't believe we used any ults. Um, I believe we were, we were at one during that timeout. Gonna put us closer, and is gonna put them down. Uh, down two alts. Then one from Blimey. I'm not certain. Did we see the the seekers out on an earlier round? Um, there is a decent chance that I believe Blimey is the one that diffused there. There's a decent chance that Blimey popped it at the beginning of the round, but mm -hmm. got a pick and then diffused. Um, uh, I, I'm not I'm not quite sure, but either way, uh, it's two alts out from yeah. CSP. Absolutely fantastic stats there. A bit more aggressive here from Center College, who pushed up into showers. And CSP's really scattered. Just a couple people sprinkled in market. A couple people were in showers and are now moving out. Fade throwing util and long. Just that we'll see whisper here. Ooh, with the thrash, he's gonna try and secure that fade pick. Fade sprinting away. He doesn't quite get anything with it. Or maybe got one. Not quite sure. Uh, not gonna be able to get uh, anything for it. Um, not looking... Uh... They're starting to commit onto a short. After a lot of indecision. Watching smoke. Still having a couple people daggered behind. A out. Really glad that we didn't take too much damage from that bomb, the boom bot. Fatal is going to come out. And it's not going to matter. Xora is going to get those picks. Every day of the week. <laughs> That's a 4k for Xora. Xora is going to get ult off of that. Um, and maybe be able to do it again next round. <laughs> Uh, once again, I would like to remind everybody that at halftime, it was 10 and 2, and it is now 11 and 8. An absolutely, almost even game. And, uh...
this this is gonna be one of the harder rounds as they are down one alt, um, and everybody's got rifles. Nobody's budgeting, but uh, Ixora hoping for uh, hoping for an op shot here. I've got your trail. Just throwing out that util, throwing out those those different uh, prowlers and such. Denying them access to the site. Enemy killjoy or CSP killjoy is going to try and plant, and Exora is not going to contest that. Exora is going to get out of there. Going to be zero players attained, but ooh, Blimey's going to catch somebody with the dog. He's going to get hard flash in order to stop them from pushing. Gets a pick, An gets absolutely pick. disgusting op shot. Get that raise off of that bomb. Ooh, Ixora does they're get taken down. Here. Like they're just going to hold it, and they're going to get it. No, no, no. it and that's going to put them a little bit closer to KJL, too. Um, Ixora still hasn't popped that ult, which, honestly, if they don't need to, save it. Save it for whenever it matters, whenever uh, Ixora's going to need to turn the tide, something like that. Um, not a single alt here on the side of CSP, and not one even particularly close. Uh, I, I believe that they had two at the beginning of last round. That, that was something that I was saying is we had one, they had two. Popped both, didn't get the win for it. That's absolutely fantastic for center. Center is two wins away from making this an even tie game. Are opting to go B here instead. And throw a couple in long. And a couple in hookah. The ones in long are going to be almost uncontested as everybody's going to have to try and rotate to that. Rogi just getting a little bit of poke here. Ooh, an absolutely shot. disgusting shot. Ixora making sure that they get theirs. Ixora did pop that ult. There is one in elbow. Incredibly hurt. There's that pick. And is looking for it. Ixora's hungry, and Ixora's gonna get it. <laughs> the sky left up in Hookah here. And I'm not quite sure if I was that sky. Looks like contact will probably be Ixora here, but a couple other folks by to help out could be Snom. They want it too. Ooh, Snom's gonna get taken down. Ixora's gonna make up for it. That was an absolutely fantastic use of the rain all. It was. It was a matter of. Uh, center had one ult, and they were like, then we're going to get one round with it. Then we're mm. going to get one ult for one round. And we're going to trade it out for that Brim ult. That Brim ult's going to be on the table now. Hopefully Snom can uh, maybe uh, hear, a, hear a plant, something like that, and just stall, get some time. Hopefully a few kills. I do see some CSPs running some Bulldogs, Bulldogs and Guardians. Not Rifles. Looking for something in showers. B is absolutely empty. Nobody's at B, and so we will be expecting a rotate from center pretty soon. Throwing out that util, those boom the boom bot and the dog are coming out instantly every single time. Nice to have those down, and not a lot of space taken up still by CSP. And there's Exora's pick. Throwing out another eye. Didn't even take damage from that. CSP is going to get Ixora down. Their raise, their raise has been quite an influential, uh, influential character here. Just a couple of TP on over to B side. Just making, uh, making KJ, now here. KJ and Gekko are just having to go back and forth constantly. Successfully take sight. Ooh, and Gekko's gonna get and absolutely fantastic. We are gonna pop that ult there, but it is going to give us. Oh, I spoke a little bit too soon, but it's all right. It's all right. That is going to bring us to a tie game. Um, there is a chance that we go into overtime here. Um, yes, indeed. Uh, if both teams get to 12, then that means we go into overtime where there is a fixed budget to where everybody can buy rifles um, at all times. Um, this match really could come down to, like, you know, who gets defense first in that overtime. Absolutely. Um, 
I think that it's it, it very much might come down to if we can get if Exora can get one of those really nice picks on a really influential pay, player on yeah. CSP's team. Looking for it here, but no one opting to go long. Raze has that showstopper, but usually only gets one with the showstopper, and so hopefully that won't ruin center too bad. Rim is waiting for that noise so that they can smoke at an optimal time. So we're looking for this raise. Absolutely. That beautiful shot right to the body. Knowing that the raise was so influential, that was a massive pick for center. We'll see the rest of the squad sneaking on up into hookah. Should activate some of that util from pierogi. Throwing a couple long as well. Oh, do we get another example of it? Oh, unfortunately not. Corpse <laughs> went ahead and... <laughs> <laughs> the gecko wanted to make it out of there. Uh, Pierogi is going to get a pick. Sora is now here. And he's throwing out that util to stall. Not even going to peek off of it. Just going to make sure that they can get to a better vantage point. And that looks like a rotate. Again, another rotate from CSP. It is a 4v3. This could go in either team's favor here. Um... Uh, I will say with the amount of rotating that they're doing, both KJs are, are almost non-factors here. Not committing to the rotate. Looks like they're running back through to heaven. Not sure if they had enough time or what it was. Um, but that they have successfully baited a couple centers. Ooh, members a disgusting a, oh, chain of headshots. Doesn't matter. Pierogi gets that, uh, you know. Very uh, low health brim here. And for the price of one deal go. on that bullet. Um, and that will be center now in the lead. Match point. And if they can clutch this next round of defense out won't even have to worry about the overtime overtime might not even happen if they can pull out a really nice round and i think that it's very possible with that kj ult on the table uh csp will have brimstone ult and raise ult but uh i think that kj ult might just be a little bit more influential here looks like they're gonna go for a Really unfortunate that KJ is having to rotate so much on uh, on center here. Reyna not seeing anything with that op and is actually going to go flank instead of rotate. Straight onto A, we're seeing some ton of util. Ooh, and the showstopper finds nothing. She's there, she's ready. Ooh, a I really nice headshot. headshot. Uh, is very hurt though. That KJ so ult behind is just with the op. Misses shot number one, but they don't turn to look at Misses him. Misses shot two, pulls out the shorty. Oh, and that is that going to be game. Be the win. And a flawless for the final round, too. That is, uh, that was very well played by Center there. What an incredible comeback. And nothing, uh, nothing CSP can do about it, as these activation games are best of one. That's it. That's the score. We're looking at it here. Um... Exora managing to catch up to uh, to CSP's raise. Just uh, we at first uh, thought that the raise was going to be a massive problem, and Exora was like, "No, just give me a second. Give me, give me a second. Let me start. Let me start snowballing here." Well, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll have another game at 9 p.m. We're gonna go ahead and shut off the stream until then. Y'all take care. See you in a bit.